Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. And we're back in The Sims 2 to follow on from what we started last week where I said that what I wanted to do was achieve all of the vacation unlockables with one sim. So this is Fiona, she's had a slight makeover. She's dressed for the wilderness because today we're going out in the wild. We're gonna book a little camping trip she still even has like her refreshed stuff from her last vacation. Let's just take a look at our vacation mementos. Yeah, here we go. So we've achieved 17 out of 45. So in the last video, we went to the Far East and we basically unlocked everything we could for the Far East, which is ideal. So we don't have to go back there again. So now we, today we're gonna go to the camping grounds to try and unlock all of the wilderness mementos. And then the video after this, whenever that one comes out, probably next week, we'll go to Tweaky Island and we will finish all of these mementos. If we can get all of them, I reckon we can. If you haven't seen the first episode in the Far East, I will leave a link to it in the video description and in the white box at the top of the screen now, if you would like to go there. You don't have to follow these in any particular order because they're all kind of individual, but if you want to follow the journey of unlocking all of the vacation mementos. So, let's go and book ourselves a vacation, shall we? We're like a little explorer. So we will do four days, three nights, same as we did before, and we will go to three lakes. Where should we stay? I think we should rough it and stay in the campgrounds. I don't need no luxurious hotel. Okay. So the shuttle will arrive soon and she's going to whip out her little vacation suitcase ready to go on her travels. Here it is. Should we do the usual, find out who we're travelling with? Oh, that's not, not quite the view I was looking for. Here we go. Oh, is that the same guy as before? I think that's the same guy as before. Maybe that's just his job. He does all of the airport drives. He's the little shuttle driver. Okay, three lakes, here we come. Again, the music, it's getting me pumped. Oh, look at this little fellow. Why are you changing? No, change into your camping stuff. That's the thing, now that she's learned Tai Chi, she always wants to just perform Tai Chi all the time. I wanna get you to take a picture of this bear for your holiday album. Oh, there we go, that way it's kind of like it's looking up at me, perfect. She's scared that she's going to meet Bigfoot. Well, you're going to have to get over that fear pretty quickly because we are going to be meeting Bigfoot. I think we should probably start by claiming a tent. You can use any tent you would like. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, let's try some new stuff, shall we? How about we play some of this game, whatever this is. Oh, it's axe throwing. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, we'll do some axe throwing and then maybe we'll try some new dishes. Come on, Fiona. We don't have all day. The sun's setting already. Notice the detail. She had to walk up to this and then pick up the axes and then carry it back and then throw it. She didn't just stand there and then the axes appeared in her hands. You know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> yeah, it's not as easy as it looks, is it, Fiona? That was a pretty good throw, though. I mean, you missed that time, but you almost got that one in the middle. Although the person that went before you did a better job. They got a bullseye. They made you look a right knob. Did you see that? That person there, she did the chest beating thing. She did the, um, she did the gesture. Go and greet her and see if we can get her to teach us the, uh, the chest beating thing. Teach me the chest beating thing. I hope I don't have the same trouble. I can't figure out how to get her to teach it to me, even though I just saw her do it. In the Far Eastern world, I tried so hard to get someone to teach me how to do the chest beating thing. To teach, sorry, had to teach me how to do the bow, and it took so long. She just did it again, but she won't teach me how to do it. Yeah, in the end, I just had to, like, add that sim to my family to teach me, and then I removed her again. So, worst case scenario, I'm going to set the precedent now that that might happen. <laughs> Look at his little kitchen set. What are we eating? I wanted to get, um, flapjacks. Are those flapjacks? Well, let's see what I've achieved so far here. Just the went on a mountain vacation. Anything else? Oh, I did have flapjacks. Okay, great, great. Oh, I didn't hit the target. Okay, I need to practice a bit more to get that target. Let's try again, see if we can get the target this time. Just come over here and watch them. See how it's done. And then maybe you'll learn. 
Well, maybe I'll just come back and do that because it looks like they're both busy. And none of them are going to stop playing anytime soon. Maybe we'll go on a little tour. Book tour, a logging expedition. Maybe we'll, we'll get ourselves a secret map. Yes, we would like to go on this tour. No, not perform Tai Chi. Go on the tour. Damn, Fiona. We've left the Far East now. Let it go. Yet another beating chest. <gasps> You've discovered a map to a secret mountain location. What a surprise. I'm going to save that place for a while, though, because I haven't learned enough, I don't think. Um, let's go to the lumber mill range. Maybe we could unlock some unlockables. In fact, let me check what I can actually unlock here. Okay, so I think she needs to learn the mountain dance, meet Bigfoot, learn the massage, chest pound, look at some tree rings, hit the target, stay on the log for the log game, and sleep in a tent. Pretty doable, I think. I actually think this one might be slightly, well, not easier, but I think this one has slightly less to do than the Far East did. So let's see, if I greet this lady, will she do the chest pound back to me, I wonder? Do the chest pound. Do the chest pound. Do it. Do it. Oh, god damn. She does it as she walks away. Look at this great big mountain man. Oh, we can practice hitting our targets now. And also, we can read this. Let's go and examine this, um, this tree ring, because apparently it says some interesting things. And then we'll try again at hitting that target. Fiona, let's go. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. DL plus NC. DL plus CG. Yes, I agree. Shallow and pedantic. Well, at least it counts as a uh, memento, so, I mean, there's that. Right, let's give this another go and see if we can hit the target. It's going to take a bit of practice. Sure it will, but we've got time. Is he going to do the chest pound thing? Oh, do the chest pound thing. No, do not perform Tai Chi. Oh, I think she hit the target. Did she? Yes, she did. Oh, great success. Okay, I think she's... Yes, he's showing me, finally. Okay, gesture, chest pound. Great success. He's trying so hard to help us get it. And we're just not getting it. Try, you should try doing the chest pound again. I mean, she's got the enthusiasm down. It looks like she's got it. Did she get it? <gasps> yes, she got it, well done. Should we play the log game, log roll? And then once we do this, maybe we'll go sleep under the stars in our tent. But first, let's see if we can stay on this log. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that was, that was a shambolic attempt. Try again. You can do it, you can do it. Just put your back into it. That's how the song goes. You can do it, put your back into it. I use that song for inspiration for everything I do. Oh, you fell down again. Your back wasn't in it enough. Oh, 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 oh. There's no reference for how well she's doing, because one minute she lasts a really long time before falling, and then the next she falls off instantly. So wh which is it, Fiona? Are you getting to grips with it, or are you just never going to learn it? I mean, I may as well put this on triple speed. You're just not going to get it, are you? Okay, she's... Okay, she's falling in a lot, and she's very tired, so I'll send you back to the, um the campgrounds, you could get a good night's sleep and then we'll try this again tomorrow, huh? How about that? There we go, let's go to bed. Oh, even the tall guy's having a little stretch look. Come on, let's get some shut eye in our little allocated tent. Hopefully bears won't come and attack us. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Na night, night. Kate, 7 a.m. start, that's pretty good going. No, I don't think we have any logs under here, do we? No. So let's go, um, Let's go exploring again. Oh, let's go on another tour first, and then we'll go exploring. Let's go on a nature trail. While the guide has gone foraging for berries, the intrepid adventurers notice a mysterious black suitcase under the bush off to the side of the trail. Clearly, the only option is to open it somehow, but should they try to bash the lock with a rock or drop the suitcase from a tall tree? Rock. The rock... The rock works like a charm, and inside the suitcase they find simoleons. They decide the bears don't need it and continue on their hike 500 simoleons richer. So do they all get 500 simoleons? I guess so. Sweet success. All right, let's go to another lot. Let's go to the spa, because I think there's a massage that we can learn. So we'll go to the spa, and then we'll go back to that place we were at yesterday so that we can um, 
try and stay on the log. The smooth rock spar. Oh yeah. So we can get a massage. Should we go for deep tissue? Yeah, let's learn the deep tissue massage actually. And then maybe we'll relax in the hot springs. We're in no rush, are we? Hello? Let's learn a massage. I wonder if I can... Oh, I don't think so. I wondered whether if I could go down I could see her face from underneath. But I can't go any lower than this. Never mind. I just wanted to see how relaxed she was. She does look very relaxed. Oh, is he dancing? Join the slap dance? That's got to be the, um, the mountain dance, surely. Tiffany comes through again. She's taught me everything I know so far. Hopefully they're still going when I finish learning my massage. Hurry up teaching me this massage. I don't want to miss out on the slap dance. Congratulations, your sim has learned how to perform a new massage. Great success. And now we can go learn the slap dance. Show me how to slap my stuff. Oh look, she's a bit rusty at first because she's only just learning, but she'll get there. It's like the Tai Chi, Fiona. Oh, she's learned it already. She learned the slap dance. Great success. Look at her go. I feel like we're going to finish this pretty quickly because we've already unlocked so much. All we have left to do is just meet Bigfoot, stay on the log. And I might go on another excursion as well. You know, let's just go on that last tour now. Um, that's the bird watching tour. Let's go do the bird watching tour and then we'll try and stay on the log. Still think Sims 2 vacations are the best vacations we've ever had. All there is to do in three different worlds and they're things that you can't do anywhere else. You learn new things, you make friends. It's amazing, it really is. No, don't sit down and write in diary. What the fuck? Oh, she's writing about her friend Tiffany who's taught her everything. Oh, that's cute. I hope you stay friends with Tiffany. You guys will have to write to each other. Yeah. Have fun on your little bird watching tour. After an hour of tracking a rare pink feather through the woods, somebody spots a flash of pink through the leaves. At the same time, they hear the loud call of a pink feather coming from the opposite direction. Which direction should they pursue? Oh. Well, I think we'll follow the colour. They decide to trust their eyes, however, they soon discover that the source of the pink colour is in fact a pink kite stuck in a tree. What's more, they've stumbled right on top of an angry hive of bees. Oh, fuck's sake. I should have trusted the sound. Now she's going to be running around like a lunatic being chased by bees. I'm so sorry I did this to you. I know it's not fun and it's partially my fault. Sorry. Let's go to um, the mill range again. Okay, should we give this log another go while listening to a cheeky bit of Lily Allen? Right, come on, Fiona. I believe in you. I know you can stay on this. What about if I try and make a friend? Because I only have the option to log roll, but I don't really have the option to, like, log roll against someone. So what if I try and make friends with her? Then maybe I can, like, challenge her to a log roll? I'm not really sure how I can stay on the log to win if I don't have anyone to go against. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to the uh, the log roll another time. Let's go to the secret lot and see what, what's there. The hidden burrow. I reckon Bigfoot might be hiding there, you know? Hello, unsavory charlatan. I see you've changed your outfit to blend in with the crowd, although you don't fool me. Come on, Fiona, let's go into the deep dark woods alone where no one knows where we're going. That's a good idea. Oh, here we are. The, uh, the hidden lot. This looks like so- <gasps> Oh shit. Did you just see what I just saw? I see a Bigfoot. Alec Bigfoot. Uh, I mean, I can't even introduce myself. It looks like I already know him, but I don't. Oh, you sexy beast. Look at you. Hello, Bigfoot. Maybe we should go and tell him about our travels. How far we have come. She's, this is one of her fears is to meet Bigfoot. So that's going to be pretty bad. For her. I don't know if she's not recognised that she's met Bigfoot, but it's still firmly within her fears. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, no, she's not happy that she met Bigfoot. <laughs> so I think I have to try and befriend him. So let's just, um, let's hang out, man. Let's, let's chat. Let's see. Let's be friends. Look at the way he's walking. Don't walk away from me, Bigfoot. I'm a well-travelled young lady and I have a lot that I can offer you. Also, just to know, this Sim's body is categorised as fat. You believe that? Sims too. Come on. Okay, well they're just hanging out, 
chit-chatting, talking about the wilderness, I suppose. Not had many negative interactions, touch wood, so that's pretty good. I reckon they'll be friends in no time. Oh, I think we're friends now. Fizz is to be scared by Bigfoot. We don't have to be scared of him, he's a nice guy. And there we go, we befriended Bigfoot. So all we have left to do now is just stay on the log. But I think I can only do that, like, if I had bought someone with me. So I might have to go back to that lot and just add someone as a family member temporarily. Just so I can challenge them and see if I can win this game. Well, Bigfoot, it's been really great knowing you. And I know you don't have many friends, but I, I gotta get going, so bye. Let's go back to the lumber mill range. It's like 6am, so there'll be some people there that are going for an early start. Can't believe that brought my aspirations so low. Hey, there's my buddy Tiffany. I'm gonna add Tiffany to my family. I like Tiffany, she's my buddy. Oh, she wants to, she wants to have sex. Well, what a surprise. So perhaps if I um, get Tiffany to log roll, and then I also get Fiona to log roll, is that how it works? Or does Tiffany, or does Fiona have to wait for Tiffany to start log rolling before she can then say, yeah, log roll, log roll. But it doesn't look like there's a chance to challenge her. Oh, okay, so it's automatically turned into a, a competition. Let's see if we can win. Come on, Fiona, I know you got this. You can do it. You've been practicing for literally hours. I don't know why you're wobbling around. <gasps> yes, she did it. She won. That practice was worth it. Hey, one at the log rolling. So I think I've done everything there is to do on the uh, mountain holiday, I think. Yeah, all these other ones, and there are loads of them, are all for the Tweaky Island. So this video feels like it's not really been long. Like it hasn't taken very long to achieve all the mountain ones, but Tweaky Island, I think, is going to take absolute ages. Look at how many there are to do there. Well, I may as well dig for some treasure while I'm here, just in case there's anything to uncover. Because that's one of the mementos, but I don't know if that's, like, island-specific. So, I don't know, I might find something. Whoops. <laughs> you better fill that hole in. Oh, damn, Fiona has another fear, which is to meet Bigfoot, even though she's already met Bigfoot. Yeah, I don't think there's any buried treasure. Oh, shit, well, we did find a tattered old map for Tweaky Island. So, I guess that saves us a job when we get there. Well, you know what? I think um, it's time to end this vacation. We've done everything we wanted to do. Let's go to the campgrounds, we'll check out, and then we'll head home. But at least now I know that when I go to Tweaky Island, I'll probably give myself an extra night there, because I think that's going to take me a while. Uh, <laughs> so now she has a crazy cone on her head, I think, because her aspiration is so low. <laughs> Oh, funny. All right, well, let's end our vacation. No Tai Chi. It's time to go home. And maybe your aspiration will go up once we get back. You're just the local crazy person right now, Fiona. I mean, you're not looking great, I'll be honest. Time to go home. Aw, oh, her little, little suitcase. Back to Belladonna Cove. There we go. She can have those benefit points. Perfect. And on that note, I am going to end this episode here. And then you can join me for the next, and I guess last uh, episode, where we go to Tweaky Island and complete all of our travel mementos. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.